Hi, this is Andrew Krug, the Global Community Manager for Niantic Labs, and you're listening to the Agent Academy Podcast. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy, episode number 56, recorded on May 6th, 2019. I'm Agent Goonie Guy. I'm Agent Zolly Belly. And we've got a load of a show for you, and it's a loaded with... <laughs> A bunch of loads of stuff from badges yeah. and dark XM and uh, cat. No, a ca- I was going to say a cat anomaly, but that's not the word we used. We used something else. Abdominally. 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 And uh, uh, I will admit, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to read the intro or not because we were unclear as it started. And it started, and I'm like, I'll just be quiet until he talks, and eventually. He'll just go with it and do it. And I don't have to do it. So <laughs> it worked out. Your Yay! plan succeeded. It's like a Woo! successful field, successful op. <laughs> the Agent Academy intro op. It's good. Yay. You get a badge. I'll make you a badge on the site. I love that. And uh, we we uh, kind of sporadically, or I sporadically, and I screw up your your spreadsheets do uh, race to recursion and. You blew it out of the park this week. Like, I thought I was, like, king of the hill coming in with my almost 900k AP, and you're laughing. Wait, you had 900,000 AP? Yeah. That's cute. That's really cute. (laughs) What did you have? I broke a million! So, um, I had 1.3, I think. 1.3 1.3 million. Jeez. Did you go to a first Saturday? I did, but I'll admit I didn't do anything at the first Saturday. We went and did... Um, that's not even where I got my points. <laughs> 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 I went to my very first... Okay. So I went to my very first first Saturday ever. Do, I, do you want to get into that now, I guess? Yeah, get into it. Okay. Not even where my points came from because I, my husband, I, none of my gaming ingress friends were like, no, they weren't really available. My one friend was in Iowa. Like, I live in Michigan. Like, Iowa's far. (laughs) And so, like, everyone was busy with family stuff. I'm like, okay. So it's just like, hey, hubs, y'all wanna go to Royal Oak, Michigan? And he's like, yeah, I'm like let's so do we, this. Yeah, so we ended up just walking around. We went in and I registered and we did the whole thing. And uh, but first Saturday started around like okay, this one started. I think it was like two o'clock. Was we that the actual even, start or the registration? Oh no, no, it was actual startish. Oh, you know what? I'm I'm gonna like not be good with actual date time. It was like one or two. I don't know. It's okay. But um, times are relevant. Know, it was afternoonish. And then, um, but we hadn't eaten lunch at all, so, <laughs> like, we're starving, and, like, so I did one mission, like, where you could kind of quickly do, like, a few hacks and go, and then there's this place called Hopcat. Hopcat. And, have you heard of it? No. Okay. It's kind of local-ish, chain-ish, kind of a pub, and so this is a multi- Floor environment of, of a of a place, and so we're like, let's go. To, we've never been to the Hop Cap at Royal Oak. We went to the one in Detroit. Let's do the Royal Oak one, and so we went in there because it's kind of Dr. Seussish built. Like it's, it doesn't look like this building should take up this much space in Royal in the the little corner it has, and it has like all these patios and stuff coming off of it and stuff. So we're like, let's go have some foodsies there so we did ended up hanging out like for an hour of the two hour <laughs> Saturday event there and I just kept blowing up everything that happened there I did not win anything like I didn't really realize there were like 
uh, I don't know. Prizes or categories? Yeah, I didn't realize there were, like, competitions going on for things. But they took your stats when you first got there? Yeah, yeah, but I didn't, I didn't, like, I walked in, okay, this is my very, 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 very first, first Saturday, so... I didn't know what to expect. I walked in, I signed up, and people were super nice, but I didn't know who anyone was. And then we wandered out, and then my husband and I just kind of like wandered around the city and walked around, and then uh, went to Hopcat, and then had appetizers and a couple of beverages. <laughs> About an hour later, we emerged and then uh, finished another mission, and then we um, went back and said hi to some people. and. It was really f- fun for even just like me and my husband, like going to Appetizer a City was really nice. <laughs> I highly recommend Appetizer Ring a City, by the way. Appet- appetizing? Appetizer Ring, yes. Um, what is that? It's where you go to places and you just have appetizers. And you go to another place and you have appetizers. And you go to another place and you have appetizers. But then we went to the place where we were really going to have lunch at. And we were so full we didn't order anything because we were too full. So, uh, <laughs> I would like to do shout outs locally to um, Snoop Frog, Sharon6060, Keller99, Nano Girl. I believe Keller99 and Nano Girl were the organizers of the event uh, for the weekend. Cat6967, she is a res of Canada, and we talked to her for quite a while, and she, like, she drove. She drove to get there, so <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, JP Noir One Devastating Tried Decos File, and I am sorry if I forget anyone, but it was a really, really nice little event. Like I'm, I know I'm on a podcast, and you would think like I'm like more socially outgoing, but I was like, oh, my first thing, and so I was like super quiet and didn't talk to anybody. And Sharon and um, Snoop Frog. Actually, I was, I was talking to Snoop Frog a couple times, and then I'm like, "Do you want a button?" Because I take, I take Asian Academy swag with me everywhere I go. It's in my purse. Literally, a baggie of buttons at least is in my purse at all times. And so I'm like, "Do you want a button?" He's after a while. He's like, "Because I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like a schmuck, like being like, do you want a button for my podcast?'" Right. <laughs> so you've heard me before. <laughs> I feel like. Like I don't, I feel like that's dumb or something. And uh, but I have a so I have like a bag of them to give out. That's right. If if someone wants them, I, like I want them to ha- like I want to be able to give them out. Like I like them. Yeah. So he was like, "Yeah, I'll take one." And then he went out, and um, then Sharon and J P and R one came and like we hear you have buttons. I'm like, oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so I gave them each like a little mini handful of buttons and, and I uh, messaged Sharon this morning like I'm sorry I bombarded you with buttons but I was just so excited someone wanted buttons <laughs> <laughs> she was like no no this is this is amazing it's the perfect thing to give out for first Saturday stuff so yeah Anchor's well, community really, loves swag yeah people love and I know I would love stuff but like I, I feel weird like you know what I mean? Oh, like, no, I, yeah. I know what you mean. It's hard to do the intro of, like, hello, and, like, not be, like, pretentious at right. all. Right. Like, that's that's why I just put the whole box on, like, the registration at the now. Yeah. Like, so I was like, now I don't have to, like, go, hey, you want a button? <laughs> I can just be like, yeah, take one if you want, you know? They're Absolutely. there. If there's any left afterwards, you know, toss them, I guess, because uh, I won't be here when y'all close this place down. So Absolutely. I wonder if they yeah. kept them. Um, they were, they seemed really happy to have no, not them. Th- but, oh, I didn't mean that they throw your buttons. I mean, like, Niantic, like, I don't know if they ran out of them or if oh, they just sat it. there on the table and they were like, I, what do we do with these buttons? That, uh, it's like, uh, my brother know. was in a band and, and they threw out a CD into the audience one time and it just flew in the air and then just landed on the ground and it was there after the show. Like, that's never a good sign, right? That's so sad. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't want that with buttons. Do you want a button? No. 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 People love buttons. Like, <laughs> we've had... You and I have been a part of podcasts before, and people didn't know anything about our podcast and still wanted a button, so... People love buttons. The more random the button, the better. I can't... Right? I'm trying to figure out if I can... I can't get this drawer out. Okay, well, I won't the continue on... 
my introduction of, I guess, my week. Um, uh, badges, I got the Gold Dark XM. I think we kind of covered that last week. I also achieved my Gold Engineer, my Gold Mind Controller. And, oh my gosh, I got my Onyx Illuminator what? this week. You were saying something about like, that. How'd that happen? I would like to thank Gemini One, locally, agent. Uh, he happened to just leave a cap behind of keys and I just happened to follow behind and find him and then he just happened to walk me through every freaking step of the process on Slack <laughs> as to how to deploy it um, so thanks to him um, he actually he was like I kind of was done growing my feet he, he had like already began to grow like this massive field and he was like I was kind of like wanting to be done but he had extra keys so he <laughs> gave it to me and like looked at the like ways to grow it and like just fed, fed the links to me I know that sounds bad but like it kind of it's teamwork this isn't, it's not a solo game like that's what I'm trying to get out of the mindset of I didn't because like, I kind of feel like well I didn't earn it like I had my you I threw it my, you earned it I earned my platinum badge myself you know yeah. what I mean? Um, I already had like 1.7, and then this was 4 million MUs on its own. That's awesome. It was huge. That's, yes, it was huge. And you absolutely um, did earn it. You earned it by um, meeting the right people, even just working with your team. And yeah, I mean, it's a huge part. It's like when we when we do big ops and we're throwing these, you know, 4 million, 12 million layers or whatever. It's like. It you don't help. want someone to throw it who already has Onyx if you have someone there who doesn't. Yeah, and it doesn't happen... Like, 12 million MUs fields don't happen solo. You know, that's a lot of coordinated effort and a lot of planning that goes into that. So, um, yeah, I kind of posted on my Instagram, like, teamwork makes the dream work. I didn't throw all these or clear all this. So, uh, didn't want to try and even pretend like that statement was true but also too it's not a solo game like that's the whole thing yeah. like get in touch with your team and um focus on things so on one hand i feel i, I don't know it's a weird feeling because i feel like i didn't do it but then i feel like my my with the help of my team i did do it so absolutely yeah it's and it's a social game and you're supposed to like coordinate with people so it's okay right it's absolutely right. absolutely okay. i mean <laughs> my mu wouldn't be anywhere near where it is now if it wasn't for teamwork and someone going hey do you want to throw this and me going yeah i'd like to you know yeah. you're the one who went out and threw it yeah so yeah i think um you're absolutely right it's a teamwork and b you threw it <laughs> It was now, if he took your phone and threw it for you, now no, there's no, no. an issue, right? So. No, I actually never even... <laughs> I've actually... The funny thing is, with this agent, I've never actually met him. Uh, he was talking to me through Slack. I happened to be, like, a couple portals over. He's like, I'll drop a cap at this portal. And That's how they I get was you. like, two... He's like, what's your ETA? I'm like, two minutes. He's like, okay. And he dropped it and took off to clear the oh, path nice. so I could throw... And then, so, but with the anomaly going, like, we're talking a five minute window on, on caps being cleared. <laughs> and he had dropped all these keys in this. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I am the worst. I am actually the worst person to estimate time with because I'm like, I'll be there in a second. <laughs> and it's like an hour later. <laughs> well, that's with ingress, right? Like, the time oh changed when ingress like, happened. Like, you can't like leave stuff in a five minute window and I'm going to tell you I'm going to be there in a minute. It's not really a minute. <laughs> uh, uh. And but, yeah, you almost need to tell your friends like, okay, so time has changed in my life now. So when I say I'll be there in an hour, probably means at least an hour and a half because I'm probably going to stop <laughs> at least for at least one portal, if not multiple. So it means I'll show up. You should probably so start cool. playing Ingress. Going on. I'll show up. <laughs> See, I've got, you know, at work, um, it's it's been really busy, and we have two new people starting next week. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to try to make them become enlightened players. Pretty yes. sure. Yes. 
I've been thinking about how we do these lunch and learns at work where one of us, like, like I did one on podcasting just in general, like how we could use it in our, you know, business and actually do something with it. Anyway, I was thinking about doing one about ingress and the teamwork that's involved with it and project management and like kind of put this business spin on it, like the things you learn, you know, from it. Um, so that may happen. Because I think uh, we could spread that around and, and help get coworkers play it. <laughs> yeah. No. I think Ingress is an amazing team building tool. Um, there are six of us still at my work that still play. We still, like, we have weekly pri Like, I know it's silly, but, like, I do weekly, like, dollar store prizes and stuff. <laughs> for, like, most AP earned that week and, and everything, and... It's just nice. I have things planned for when we each turn 16. I have um, vials that I'm going to label. I can't wait to show everybody when, once it happens. And we all, each go out to dinner, and then the um, the rest of the team buys dinner for the person who turns 16. And uh, we've we've agreed that that person gets, a, you know, like, oh, no, their, their drinks are taken care of, but one drink minimum because, you know, some people are luscious. <laughs> I won't say who. Are you, are you talking about me again? No, Don't you're not so, even here. That's so mean. But I'm I I, I might be. What? So the uh, Chicago Anomaly is coming soon, and yeah. that's like a hop, skip, and a four-hour drive to like uh, you where know, where you are. You need a layover in Detroit. You can always hang out here. Well, yes. Well, that, and that's what I'm, I'm planning to do. It all hinges on my son's finals. So mm -hmm. trying to uh, talk him into uh, not going to the last two finals. Is that a bad thing? Wow. That is bad parenting. Is I would actually advocate <laughs> for him to take them early because of a family trip. <laughs> right. Well, if he can do that, great. Um, no, it, it, they, they get to, if they uh, show up to school... For and don't miss any days or something, they get to. I forgot the word. They get to not take two of them. Skip them? Yeah, but there's a word they use in the school for doing skipping it. Skipping them? Yeah, basically. <laughs> so I'm trying to talk them into skipping the two on that day because it's, uh, you know, it's like a 10 hour drive, I think. And so if he has to go to the. I mean, we won't make it in time for the, um, the NL133 X event yeah. otherwise. And I've already bought my tickets, so... Did you? So you might have to be picking up some swag for me. I will do that for you. If because can't. it's right next to me, and I've already talked to a couple of people into going, so... Well, people are hoping you'll be there. I want to. I want to. I just don't want to, like, you know... I'm not going to, like, say, well, then you're not going. You know, that'd be kind of jerky. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not going to be like, well, you better talk to your teachers and where he's freaking out about his exams. I want him to do good on the no, exams. No, because, so. honestly, good parenting, school's more important. So. Yeah. So, I'm thinking I'll just drive up early and have him fly in and meet. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you can make it, son. Oh my Here's your Uber money. <laughs> I know the airport. I can pick him up. <laughs> He can I bring my you, CPAP machine. You know I, I know where you leave things. <laughs> right. And I'll make him carry it because he won't forget it like me. But uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, speaking of first Saturdays, I uh, went yeah. down to Birmingham to the first Saturday down there. It was the first one. It's, a, it's an hour and a half drive from here. Not too bad. And uh, big shout out to uh, No Springs and uh, Hoover Zoo, which were the, the two leads. And I think Rain Assassin might have helped them out, too, on the res side. It seems so hard around here to get a res counterpart that it's really great when um, we can find them. So uh, thank you all for, for helping out. And I did want to give a shout out to uh, uh, Kerbushard71, who uh, turns out listened to the show. And uh, they just started recently, so they were just listening from the first episode up and I was like oh man some of those are really bad um, but he was like telling me like what level I was at that time and it was like crazy he was like you were just hitting like 13 or something and I was like oh my god that's You're crazy amazing. so then he did listen to the, the latest episode before coming up there so it was uh, great talking to him and everyone else um, saw a bunch of friends there and and uh, I uh, won the the, at least the well, I, I think both sides because the res I think was at like 300 and something but I got almost half a million AP at the first Saturday 
Oh my gosh. Uh, so I've got a strategy now that I think works well. I, I'll need to talk to you, Ken. It's, I I didn't know there were competitions at first. Air, so it was just like a mean greet thing. So right. I just went and did appetizers and hung out. I didn't really do anything. So. No, I I get it, <laughs> I, but you get double AP. Uh, well, I knew like they that, give it to you later. Like, but um, you know, I'm here hanging out with my husband. It's a nice day. La, la. We had a good time. You can add two point yeah. six million. Right. No, I'm getting an extra. So really, I got an extra five hundred thousand. So I'm at about at one point three. <laughs> but hey, speaking of buttons, a shout out uh -huh. to to um, at Harley Quinn forty two. I don't know if you can read that. Sure. But uh, she makes buttons for a lot of the events and anomalies. And don't, oh that's God. an old passcode. Don't use that. It won't get don't you anything. Use that. That's not a thing that's really up there. But uh, uh, so that's uh, awesome. she, she gave me some insight into the uh, button she uses because we have the same button maker and mine come out really crappy. And so I haven't been using it. Uh, but she gave me some. Yeah, uh, I redid some info. I redid our buttons. I'm waiting for them to arrive. Oh, you didn't like the the ones I sent? No. Sorry. Well, I redid them. Hmm. Okay. I mean, they're fine. They're good. They're Love great. buttons. Oh, well, that's like that's in my car. But uh, it, but uh, uh, that was great. So I I won a twenty five dollar gift card. I was like, what? You're giving me money. To play? I make money playing Ingress. I will make twenty five bucks a month if I can with my new strategy. What what is your new strategy? It's I don't know if I should say. Then I'll have competition. No, but it's, it's Asian Academy. We're so supposed to be teaching people. You're right, you're right. And so here's the thing. A if if you know how to make a, a bunch of AP really fast, then you probably already know the strategy. Because uh, it's not anything new or special. It's just basically uh, focusing on uh, getting one resonator on, right? Because you get the most from that one, and then you can throw the rest on. But AP per second, or whatever you would do, if you just station yourself at a place that's just getting blasted over and over again, and you just cycle through putting one resonator on each one, and then when they fill up, you blow any opposite faction stuff up you kind of mix it up with that but you just make sure you get that one on each one as you go and it's just all about i mean for the two hours except for the two times that i got stopped and talked to people and i didn't want to be a complete jerk and go um i got ap to get man why are you talking to me um it was just non-stop you know just that walking to each portal and finding those pockets where i could just sit there and when there's activity just one 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 wasn't the most exciting gameplay but it wasn't about making fields because in the same amount of time that you try to get a field up during first saturday as people it's are blowing long. stuff down yeah. um you can just get more ap so yeah uh it's just one 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 so i went through a lot like i left there i was pretty much full and i left there with about i probably used 800 items uh yeah i went through like items. six or seven hundred items and like an hour of it was me having appetizers at the one place, but yeah. it happened to be centralized in a location where the place kept getting blown up like repeatedly. So I was like, right. oh, keep deploying, <laughs> blow it up again, deploy. So I wasn't like lazy while I was sitting there, you but were... it was nice because, you know, honestly, I was with my husband. He wasn't interested in playing, so yeah. it was nice. Okay, here's my advocation for first Saturdays especially for people who are in areas where like you might be the only person you know who plays have your husband or best friend or whatever or your significant other or anything come you know sibling come with you yeah. because they don't have to send up for the event and like we just we showed up at the prior prior to it all starting made sure we registered did the photo and then we just walked around the city and we had a really lovely time discovering the city having appetizers and then we went to a bakery after the at the end of it and we took those home <laughs> like, like no so ingress but man we love the bakery but I think <laughs> no that's like, awesome if you really need to like talk someone into going with you because perhaps you're like yeah. someone who like honestly I was a little socially nervous about going like I'll like admit that um, 
so it was nice to have someone to go with me and then two when we went there it was this big oppressive event like we could still explore the city on our own yeah within the event but we could still clearly see other people playing and do the nods and be like hey how's it going you know as we walk right past. <laughs> right and are they playing ingress or pokemon go it's- no you could to- like because they have like uh, the one i went to we had like hello my name is badges okay that we put on so nice. like you always knew like who was playing or not so um wasn't like too obtrusive but it was yeah. enough to where you could tell who was who and then at the end you just kind of like had another conversation at the end and it was like really nice i thought it was yeah. really really like a ease into the social spectrum type of event so. it, it really is and usually if they're doing just a, a boot camp they want new players playing too and so they'll help uh, by feeding gear or helping clear away um for those lower players because one of the categories is levels gained and you know it's like once you get up to you know 12 13 unless you just happen to be close to the level you're not getting a level but someone who's level one could get a few levels in that time yeah definitely so so they could win something and be excited about it and be like oh man this is awesome the community is awesome and all this stuff um conversely don't take someone to their first like ingress event to an anomaly <laughs> like too much. it's too much it is it is it's just too much unless they're like into ingress and really into it but if they're just really new into it it's not a good time to like throw them on into a team into that environment it's I like i would think like it would be overwhelming yeah yeah take them to mission day afterwards yeah and if they want to you know let them walk around if they want to you know a few minutes and join it but don't like I think part of it is the stress of they're probably there because they love you, they care about you, and they know this means a lot to you. They, it's got to be stressful for them to be like, I don't want to screw this up for you. And and then it's just like, ah, and then all this new information and stuff. So it's just not a good time. Uh, yeah. Well, First Saturday, well, great time. I, I totally get that, yeah. First Saturday is a good intro day, I would say. And there's probably one in your area. More so than so, an anomaly. And if not, start one. And yeah. Another strategy. I didn't do this this time because I was busy talking to people. But this may be a jerk strategy. So, in a lot of these events, you know, you sign up an hour before. I didn't know that. I messed up. Okay, go ahead. So, get there early. Hey, get there an hour before the sign up. Start farming keys. I didn't know. Start farming keys early. Then... Be the first person in line to sign up, and then go. Go. <laughs> you have an extra hour of getting AP. You don't get double AP for it, but it counts towards the score because they're going to take your first one, and then be the last one to sign out. And while you're in line, be blowing stuff up and put. Just fill out. You can get probably three and a half hours that way instead of two. It's probably a jerky move. I didn't know that. I didn't it's. Know that. It's probably a little unknown thing. Because, see, here's the thing. The first Saturdays are very uh, loose, to say the least, because they're not, like, Niantic's not running them. It's run by Feb Games. No one sends your info in or checks it afterwards. They just send the totals in. So the total AP that uh, Rez got and the total AP that Enlightened got and then the levels and the the traveled is usually how it's done so that's all that's sent in and then all they want is a verification of the photo here's the other trick now this is to help out everybody who's scared they're not going to get enough people at the event or it rains just gather up anyone around say you only get six people there just gather up whoever and get a picture with 10 people in it have them hold their phone up no one can read what the hell is on it send that in and then at least the people who are there will get the double AP and the badge, which I think is fine. I don't think there should be all these requirements if everybody showed up. Because how sucky is it if everybody signs up but it rains and then three people travel 200 miles to get there and then they get nothing. They don't get double AP. They don't get a badge. Like, I would just be pissed. You're right. So gather up 10 people in the rain, take a picture with all the tears, and send it in. Wow. Just, but uh, I see. I see why you're motivated to say that, and I would agree with your motivations. So. 
but <laughs> I feel like there's a but coming there. But we don't condone that. I'm just saying it's a, a thing you no, could do. I can see where people would exploit it, but I understand where like that would be a very legitimate like need to legitimize a first Saturday in certain areas. So yes. Yeah, okay. and then the other things, you know. They really just need to fix the system. They need to just make it where it, you hack the portal and it takes your score between those two hours and it spits it out at the end. I mean, yeah. just yeah. work it into the system. Because how cool would it be to be get a screenshot at the end of... I'm just going on now. Yeah, it's fine. Can I ask <sighs> a question? Yes, you may. Because we're still in the intro part <laughs> of the show. <laughs> What's new with Asian Academy this week? Oh my God! We have we really been. I played for like an hour, right? So we've only been talking for like <laughs> ten minutes, right? Something like that. Well, we'll just cut this one up into multiple episodes. No, it's uh, a long no, because we have we have told people and we've given them short episodes. This is their long episode. That's a good. That's go. a good point. That's a good yeah. point. So I got one last thing to say. Okay. I'm gonna wait because. I, I don't know if uh, folks may not know this, but in my spare time, whatever the hell that is, yeah, I what? um I do work for a non local nonprofit that is a homeless shelter for families. So most homeless shelters around here, once say a mother comes in with a, a male child, once he gets thirteen, he's considered an adult in that situation, what? and they split them apart. They cannot stay in the same room together. Um, oh, this is the only shelter in North Alabama that actually keeps the families together. The only way to get in the shelter is to be a family. You have to be a child and a, and a, and a parent. It can be a grandparent and a, you know, whatever. Just as long as it's a parent and a child of some sort. Anyway, we're doing this cool thing for Mother's Day where you, because you, if you're in the same boat as, with, as me, my mom doesn't need anything. I'm not going to buy her anything that means anything. A card, maybe that's about it. Donate to New Futures in their name, and we actually, I, I say we, I <laughs> make a custom uh, certificate that then we mail to you or your mother, and we can do it in memory of if your mother has passed, um, and then we'll mail that to you with the information on it uh, for whatever you donate. So you can donate a dollar, you can donate five thousand dollars, whatever. Um, so just go to newfuturesinc.com, and you'll see the message there somewhere, and it'll be in the show notes too. Sounds good. Uh, but uh, Agent Academy. So, shirts. We talked about those last week. We had some issues this week. Hopefully, they're fixed. I hid the ones that we removed. Mm -hmm. But then we had some. We had a, a, a good question uh -huh. on oh, um, Twitter. Oh, we did. Yes. And it kind of came up with our products, too. So. Oh, did it? Someone said something it about it. It did. Uh -uh. Um, Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I made um, I made a frog tears mug and I made a Smurf tears mug, thinking I would be like inclusive of both sides of the game. Cross faction. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, okay. Here's my other question, community. Please chime in uh, with the answer. So I made the frog tears mug and I couldn't decide should that be a green mug because it's it's like collecting frog tears or should it be blue? Because you would be resistance, but then collecting the frog tears. So I, I couldn't decide which was the right thing. So I just made a white with black text. And it was like, you know what? We'll just I'm, leave it at that until I can kind of get an answer from it, from the community. I've been and thinking about I, this. Okay. If Go I, ahead. I don't want to jump all over what you're saying, but before I forget, because my brain's yeah. crazy. I was thinking, so if you do, if it was a wraparound mug and you could do the full it thing. Is. Uh -huh, it is. If you could do it like a wavy thing so you could see, so it looked like it was filled, like it was a clear mug filled, and so it looked like the liquid, you know, so it'd have a wavy top. Um, but but if a, not, the, I would do green with white text. Green with, for, for the Smurf tears? Or for the for, Smurf for frog tears. tears. For frog tears. For the Smurf yeah. tears. Oh, because I'm a, I want green, right? Unless it looks like it's a cup full of tears. Flatline. <laughs> It doesn't look yeah, like it to me. Um, it doesn't. The, they they do let you go very close to all the way around, but there's definitely a line. So could I use a sharpie? A line, there's a line below and a line above, mm, yeah. so it wouldn't blend well. I think you did right then. I like the white. The I don't black know. Text. I mean, we could kind of try it out. I would be willing to like submit different options if people like have different ideas. 
but the problem I ran across, uh, I made a Smurf Tears, I did the Frog Tears one, and then I did the Smurf Tears one, and Smurf is a trademarked name. What? There's Smurf crap everywhere. Every anomaly so I, I see Smurf crap so everywhere. So it got rejected. <laughs> I, I was able to print a sample from the, the company that we use to, to make our products. And so they sent it to me. So I am in I am in possession of the only Agent Academy Smurf Tears mug in the world. <laughs> is it work or is it right there on your desk? And no, it's at work. So oh. I was like super excited. Okay. So I was like, yay! I took it to work right away. Um, but yeah, um, but I I don't know how to like, and the the honestly, it's kind of sad. Like because frogs, like that's not trademark, so we can use it. But we can't really call the blue team anything because it's so known that they're like it's so like prevalent that they're Smurfs. Yeah. Like, if we just make up a blue thing, it's like not gonna hold the same weight. No. You know, with a mug. So I don't know what to do about it to Small to, to Blue People Tears. Blueberry tears. Like I don't yeah. Small blue people with white pants. Except for mm-hmm. one dude who has a red hat on the mug. Tears. A mug. But it'd be kind of funny at that point, I think. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, space out so, the letters enough so it, you're just like, no, those are just letters on the cup. Mm-hmm. It's not a word. It just happens to have the S, the M. You can even do it in a different order. So it'd no, be like the Fususmur. I didn't use font. I, I uploaded it as an image, as a PNG. Like, I didn't type yeah. it out on there. Like, they're they're on it. <laughs> yeah. I think, just call it Fismer Tears. I called it Blue Tears Mug. They got it. Do you think they saw the first one with the Smurf and then kind of went back and went, come on now? I don't know if they're really... I mean, I... That's a lot of manpower to be yeah. watching. All well, who stuff. owns Smurf? Is that like Hanna-Barbera? Or, I would assume so. Because I wonder if they're just like out there just looking and they're like, damn these people, they keep trying to get their Smurf crap. <laughs> no. So if you're a, a res player, you can at least order the Agent Academy Frog Tears mug off of our store. Um, but yeah, the Smurf Tears is in uh, development. Well, it Smurfs me... The it's right Smurfy. Smurf. Smurf-rific. Oh, well. Anyway. Yeah. So, that's bad news. Good news is there's more stuff, and uh, Zelly Belly has made some awesome designs. So, go check out the store. Uh, speaking of awesome stuff, we just hit 1,500 subscribers on uh, the Tubes channel. So, thank you, everyone. And apparently, now they've moved gaming over to YouTube and. We have memberships over there. Some weird thing. So, I don't know. If you're into YouTube and you like YouTube a lot and you like memberships there, hey, we got it. We'll link that in the show notes, too. Hooray. I'm excited and proud. Yeah. And you get icons, like, in Twitch, but I guess it's for the comments. I don't even know how that works. <laughs> we're gonna, know. We're going to figure that don't out know. and then give you the images that are owed to you. Yeah. So, anyway. Here we go. There's another segment. We have another segment. What? So, uh, first song. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. That was the pre-show. Um, so I got an email and uh, confirmed this is legit. So, BioCards in Chicago, the email read, Agents, we will be bringing a special interactive BioCard display to Abaddon Prime, Chicago. If you would like to include your personal BioCard as part of the display, please fill out this form. And there's a form. And you can fill it out and upload your BioCard. Uh, so, I did it. I wanted to upload the Agent Academy one, but you've got to do it with an email. And I guess I could just use another email. But anyway, so I sent mine in. Mm. Did you send yours in? No. You should. I'm not going to Chicago. So? Does it doesn't say if you're going to Chicago. Oh. Anybody can send it there. I just took it as an assumption. Oh. Yeah. Well, you know what they say about that. Are you going to pick mine up for me? Pick what up? 
If, I don't know. I don't know what this is. What is oh, this? you weren't listening. I get no. it. I get it. No, I do that all the time, too. So it's just <laughs> like a digital display where they'll be showing the bio cards at the event. I don't have a bio card. Well, we got to make you one. You got to make one. I don't, but I don't want to make one until I'm 16, right? I'm not 16. You don't have to put your level on it. Oh. Just put a recursion symbol on it. People just think you recursed anyway. That's yeah. not cool. <laughs> no. I don't. I don't have my cards here, but yeah, I don't. Okay, I'll. You work don't need them. You yeah. need one because every time I like show up at one of these, uh, any of the events, and and like, I I gotta be the one. That seems like oh, you want to see my bio card. No, people like oh. handing that and they trade them, but I want to give them yours too if you're not there. Because I give them people one. had some cool, um, like the plastic like ID, but, like they were on a, a lanyard and everything, yeah. like at the first Saturday, and they were like these clear badges that like had everything engraved in them. Oh, that's that cool. Really cool. Yeah. That was like a bio card, but it was like super were, permanent. Did they light up? Because they're making some no. of those for Chicago, but they're 35 bucks. I'm just like, I don't know. It's pretty cool. They have so much swag there, but I can't do that. I just love that there's ingress swag. Like, let me buy it. I just want it. <laughs> I did. Have you ever heard of Malort? You're a northern gal. Mm -hmm. Malort's a northern thing, apparently. Out of Jepson's Malort, out of Chicago. Okay. So they're selling a Malort pack on the the store with the, anyway. Mm. It's a, I'm not a cool northern girl, I guess. I don't know. You're the coolest, and you live like ten minutes from Canada. I do. I do. So, can I take my son to Canada, or will we get stuck yeah. over there? Wait, how old is your son? Is he 19? He's 17. Ah, oh, he's too young to drink still. Mm. He doesn't have an ID, so they won't be able to know. No. Well, then we can't get him over the border. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that sucks. <laughs> They're super strict about that these days. Damn them and them borders. Yeah, back in my day, because I'm an old lady, but back in my day, we would just, because we would just drive to Detroit, because you just drive up to the little line, and the guy goes, where are you going tonight? And we would go, we're going to Don Cherry's. And he'd be like, have fun, ladies. And you just, they didn't check anything! And you just went, and you had fun at the place, and you came home with one person able to drive, and you just slapped the girl till she woke up to tell her citizenship as you're driving home. <laughs> and then you went home and went to bed. So, would the Mounties actually run after you on their horses? If you just, now you actually yeah. have to have a certain type of like certified license or a passport to get across the border. It is very. It oh, used to be. I don't have those. It used to be nothing. You literally had to just verbally declare your citizenship, and it didn't matter. Like they didn't check anything, and it was just very easy to pass through. And now you actually have to go through this whole thing where you show. An identification ever that's since nine eleven, which I know that's been a million years for like most human beings on the planet, but for me, <laughs> it's it's you know, it's not what I grew up with. So, well, I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to bring you up know. things that would uh, make you angry. I didn't. Did I seem angry? Just, I no, I'm just, just kidding. Seem angry. <laughs> it's just a very different society uh, it is Nothing. it is you can't yeah. uh, kids can't even walk to school anymore they get it uh speaking of uh school uh abaddon prime week one <laughs> um at uh Kao uh city taiwan uh resistance 152 enlightened 212 um so congrats uh enlightened you get uh, two Woo! more anomalies to do the same thing we have won a third. A third. That's not a win. And really, and gentlemen, really a fourth or a not even a fourth because really? I, this is something I heard this weekend. I don't, I didn't okay. see the rules, but apparently, Chicago's worth two points, so there could technically be a tie oh. if you know, um, if Enlightened say wins uh, Europe and then. Uh, resistance win Chicago, then it would be a tie. And then they go to points, total points for all the places. So Why is Chicago worth two points? I don't know. There's always this... Is I it, think maybe it's so if Enlightened wins Europe, then it's like, well, why go to Chicago? Resistance may think, because there's no way for them to win. 
But if it's worth two points, then they could come back. Um, that's all I can think of. I don't know. Hmm. We'll see, though. It'll be interesting. Hmm. Um, Ingress Prime <laughs> update. Everybody's happy about these, I'm sure. 2.22 is coming out in the next uh, few days. There's UI fixes. UX fixes one that will make a lot of people happy supposedly makes the startup load faster thank god i know i will be happy about that do you so know you're how many times i had to restart my stupid app just to throw oh. all those links i was talking about earlier it yeah. was really frustrating yeah that's something yeah like it's it's hard when you're at a first Saturday and everybody's just you know just piling on how crappy Prime is and you're like that's all I play now and they look at you Actually, like you're crazy. No one was talking to me, so I didn't have that oh, experience. But, I'm sorry. But I didn't I mean did. to make you mad. No, no. But <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I'm mad? But I didn't have um. No, I was crapping on Prime or anything like that. But I was playing. But I had to restart all. Yeah. Like, I had to do that Just, during... I am whispering because I'm only telling you. I'm not telling the podcast. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, then I had to do that during First Saturday, too, and it was annoying. Okay. Brought me down a few AP there. So yeah. feel free to add that on to my total at the All end right. there. So also some bug fixes. Uh, I thought it was interesting that they listed in the bug fixes some um, point of interest nomination processes. Hmm. So apparently they're getting some good feedback over... Wherever it's active, I assume New Zealand, where Harry Potter Wizard Unite's active. I still can't do anything but play with my wand in Harry Potter's mm. Wizard Unite. Try Australia. I hear you can play with it down under. Hmm. That's what I hear. <laughs> That's that is. Anyway, so uh, the next thing they're going to be working on is linking and link visibility, uh, in-app support, map readability in sunlight app stability, bug fixes, and parity features. So yay, Prime updates. Yay. Also, something cool they're doing with the anomalies is that they are giving out 500 cool pins. Like, not... Like, these are pins. Like, enamel-looking pins. Nice-looking pins. Like, like imagey badges, PNG badges, but, like, physical stick you in the flesh and make you bleed pins. Yeah, like you can't quite call them buttons because they're a little bit cooler. Yeah, yeah. No, they have like a a, a clasp. On the back. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of a a pin that always falls off or something. It's got it a like clasp. That. Yeah. So, anyway, they're giving out 500 of these uh, for the first agents who hit the official after parties. Oh, yeah. yeah. At each of the three cool. sites. Yep. <laughs> I'm snorting now for some reason. Okay, so that's cool. I, <laughs> I... And the thing is... Maybe I'll just drop by. So, I didn't get tickets to the after party in Chicago because my son is 17 and I assumed it was like a 21 and over thing. But maybe it's not since it's the official Niantic party. I bet it's thing. not. You should try. So... I have to Just rethink try. that one. I mean, I would ask, but before I bought them, but try. That'd be cool to have a pin. What else is going on in May? What is the glyph challenge for May? What the, victory. What everybody can do. Victory. They can do the victory. Is, is that how they do it down under? I don't know. Victory? Or is it like that? I guess it's like that. It's down That's under. It? Upside. Just flip the camera upside down. That's one. Yeah. Anyway, it's uh, the that's the glyph challenge, the hashtag glyph challenge for May, which will be happening. Oh, geez, next weekend, I believe. I remember the date wasn't this weekend that passed, so I went ahead and put it in the notes, but I didn't put the actual dates on there. So it look it up. Coming up soon. It'll be in the show you notes. You are now aware of it. Look over here on the side in the chat room if you're watching the video. Someone will say it over there, and uh, then you'll have the official date. So that's good. Uh, the anime. So what? 
Ingress, the animation, is now officially out all over the world on Netflix. I and you can watch all 11 their, episodes. Yeah. Everyone who's opened their app has seen that, right? Like, I, yeah. You open it up, it's like, BAM! Watch the anime! BAM! It's like, I'm like, no, I'm busy! I'm glyph hacking! Stop! <laughs> Oh, now, if you could make it say, listen to the Agent Academy podcast. Right. You think you see that one coming anytime soon? I think Come on, Andrew. Hacking, stop it. Come on, Mr. Kruger. <laughs> Let's do this. Um, Someone. No, I, ha- have you watched the anime? I have watched 12 episodes. Hmm. Hmm. So I've watched the first 11, and then I've watched the first one again, and I'm going to watch it again with you and hopefully some people of the community i was thinking yeah we kind of mentioned it in the last episode that it'd be really fun for us to use the um there is an app where you can watch netflix things together yeah and so i would recommend that it not be your first viewing of the animation of of ingress animation because we're going to be talking over it discussing things discussing details discussing theories and stuff and so um, that would be very annoying if you hadn't seen any of it yet. You would be like, I can't follow you. I'm trying to watch this. Shut up. So give it a watch. Right. Just, just, just like really, you know, binge through it and then get with us and we're going to watch it together. What yeah. day do you have available, sir? I, that It will be a when you want to do it kind of thing and I will make time for you. Mm. And I think there should be for the uh, of age people, maybe there should be a drinking game that goes along with it. An ingress drinking game? Huh? I don't no. know. Mm. We'll think about it. We'll drink about I, it. I don't know how appropriate that is for ingress. What? <laughs> they swear in it. Not they to give anything swear away. swear in it. Yeah. All right. Just saying. We'll, we'll talk about it. So um, this isn't no are, Pokemon Go. If you're interested in watching or being a part of the experience, uh, keep tabs either in our Telegram or our Twitter or Instagram feed, and we will definitely get the news out to you this week as to when we're doing that. Right? Yes. Well, maybe. Well, no, send in your definitely. ideas for drinking games. Well. T- <laughs> well, actually, um, my my other idea for um, for those who don't know, I've I've have done an OPR show on YouTube in the past, and so what you I would like watch to do it. is, I what I would like to do is an OPR show with Mr. Brent, Mr. Goonie guy here, and um, perhaps it'd be an adult version where we had some beverages. Yeah, and so it may inhibit our judgment and our discussion of of our judgments. Um, but I think that would be a fun weekly thing to do to add to our YouTube content. So like 20 minutes of OPR <laughs> and then 20 minutes of Ingress, the animation. It'll, we'll get through like three OPRs, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the podcast gets torn apart because you know how angry that uh, Zelly Belly gets. I don't know why I read it. Like, I've never Am seen you angry. Am I a monster? I'm just like, like a monster. I'm like, She's a monster. here. That's my secret. I'm always angry. There's, there is a secret. You want to know what it is? What? Agents, it appears we have found something interesting. Media acquired. Dun 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 dun. So we do have media this week. I don't know if you've watched uh, episode twenty three or twenty four of the Dun Raven uh, sessions. I guess you would call them. But twenty four is very interesting because we actually get some footage from Colon. The teams are jumping out of airplanes and landing and getting the first assignment uh, from the Hanks. Both the Hanks are in it, uh, as well as Clue and someone else that's on the Resistance side. Can't always remember the Resistance stuff. I'm bad about that. But 
uh, go watch it. And that's it. That's all I have for media. All right, that's that's pretty good for media. I got a lot. Okay, I got a lot of media. I hit my cap, and I was going to it for Saturday, so I just deleted it. And I thought I'll go watch that later. So I haven't seen it yet, even though like you acquire media, but sometimes you just don't have. That's the problem with the media taking up space. Yeah. Like, I, want a way to see it in game but I don't want it to take up space and I'm going to an event and I have limited space we need a a, a media stick a just like because really no one ever uses them anymore so there's plenty of those stupid USB key fob things around the world give us one in game that we can put all of our media in and it doesn't count towards our I really think I'd be stuff. a really great collector's thing to have a some sort of instead of a key locker have like a key fob in game that kept all your media and so then if you could acquire every chapter of every story like that would be a really fun collection item yeah to have but that didn't take up my space and then if somehow you could actually access that key fob on your tv or your computer and watch the playlist of media stuff I'm designing yeah. this game for you. Take the idea. I don't care. Run with it. Send us a royalty. Make it better. Something. That's all we want. So, I've got another question for you. What's yes, in sir? the capsule? What's in 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 the capsule? We got a ton of stuff this week. Hmm. So we've been lax about checking YouTube and Twitter. I still was <laughs> lax about checking Instagram for Wait. comments. We? We? We've been I, lax? Me. I would I would like to point out I haven't checked anything. Me like myself. at all. That's oh. your job. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I've been lax and Zelly Belly has been super lax. Sorry guys. <laughs> So, this first one here, do you want to round robin this, or do you want to read them all? How do you want to do this? I will do Agent the Jestorm. Okay. Do it in a voice, though. Any voice. Agent the Jestorm says, hashtag W-I-N-C. Introduce a crafting system. Players Wink. could use raw XM, CM, recycled gear to craft weapons, cubes, resonators, mods, the crafted gear could be slightly better than standard or be experimental and last a set amount of time. I kind of like the idea of that crafted gear could uh, coming from other MMO games like uh, like Dark Age of Camelot like especially like crafted gear you could um, make it so that it would be slightly better but it would have a higher vulnerability it would not vulnerability rate, but it would you had the potential of when you went to craft that higher gear, all your components could pop hmm. because it could just explode because it was very viable. Right. And or maybe some sort of like glyph game or something that happens when you do it and if you kind of, yeah. Like you're putting all these components together and based on the percentages of of like how high quality they could be, if they're super high quality they would be very, very unstable. And so you'd have a very uh, a very high likelihood of them blowing up and you'd lose all of the elements that you were trying to cut, uh, to craft. Um, but yeah. if, but if you could, if it, if it succeeds, that would be like the element that everyone wanted. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so yeah. then you'd really have to get on board with like not, then as soon as that's crafted like though that that not being tradable like that would have to be something that i think individual agents would have to risk on their own because you can't trade those components once they're crafted because then you would open up that market to to sellability right right yeah no i i like that i like that i think there could be some many interesting things with with a crafting trading or crafting system and i think it'd be really cool if they experimented with like group crafting or something so like you come to a farm 
maybe some pseudo um, fracker kind of thing, but it has to be by multiple people doing this. This oh, or maybe maybe you can't get enough people to make a level eight portal in your area, and you can craft basically something that turns that portal into a level eight while the four of you do whatever, and maybe it's less hacks or something. But uh, but yeah, some kind of group crafting. You, you can always make a level eight portal in your area. You can flip it. You can always flip, 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 flip. flip. It. Might take you eight hours. But you can do it. Yeah, suck that. <laughs> like group crafting to make a level eight, but then it goes back down to like what you know, whatever, a level seven or whatever. Um. Yeah, crafting. Hmm. It gets the seal of approval. Oh, I was about to play the wrong thing. Agent <laughs> Timberlaw. I don't know how to say that without saying it <laughs> wrong. It says, if we... Oh, this was the comment that we got. Do we even need to read this now? If we use Enlightened or Resistance logos oh, on a shirt, do. yeah. does okay. Niantic claim copyright? Do we need permission to make our own local event shirt? And the answer is, you, without permission, yes, you cannot use any of their... Their trademark stuff, which includes like Smurf, the words, which we ran Any into. Type, yeah, Smurf is not trademarked by Niantic. It is trademarked though, so we cannot use it. Yeah. Anytime you are you are using copyrighted, trademarked anything you that is not owned by you and you do not have legal permission to use, you cannot use it, especially in a situation where you are selling that product. It cannot be done. At all, at all, at all, at all. <laughs> it is illegal. Um, so yes, um, but and there are ways around doing things to have um, local event T-shirts. You could say the name of your city. You could have uh, some sort of silhouette for your city in the background that you you know you take a photo of and then like silhouette it through Photoshop or other means uh, through GIMP or whatever. Um, and then you can also uh, there's a lot of like free clip art for for other cities and stuff that you are allowed to use that is n that is free to use for those type of things um and then you could put de depending on the words like you might not be using smurf but you you can use other words to highlight the fact that it is the for saturday for your town and then have that um item available for sale in a uh t-shirt store a lot of them don't go to production until the item is um, requested for sale, like Printify, Spreadshirt, uh, there's a few others too that are pretty high quality that are very... Threadless. Yeah, th th they're very reputable type of stores that you can do yeah. that at. And you just have to upload your image and then they take care of the rest. So. Yeah, yeah, and we ran into that even with um with Agent Academy shirts that we were putting on Amazon through the Twitch stuff, just because we used Resistance or Enlightened in the description, they pulled it. They wouldn't let us do it because we were using terms that are that were ingress stuff. Which it's weird that like Resistance. I guess it's also with like you know what you're saying around it, but you definitely could yeah. use like ingress. And things like that. Like I thought it was the image. Like we were looking like image searches going. Did someone else use our image and in, in copyright it or trademark it? And uh, no, it turned out it was the words we were using in the description. So yes, be very careful about what you use. Like there's other things you can use. Like like I have shirts for. I was trying to start like a local thing because I didn't like North Alabama enlightened because Nanal, I don't know, it just doesn't flow off the tongue like I, I want it to. And so I made uh, North Alabama Shapers Alliance because we have a big influence of NASA here because we have a NASA base in town. And so it was kind of like cool to have like NASA shirts that everybody has because half the people of the town work there. So they all have NASA shirts. And so now we just co-op their words. So Shapers was fine, I thought. I don't know. Maybe they'll come after me. Okay. You got this nexty? Don't be sure. angry. Sure. Um, Agent Dr. PC could help 
animals get adopted more if that agent was there and decided to take a peek. So this is talking specifically about the idea. Well, remind me, this was this was you were talking me. about getting a animal shelter or an animal yeah. place made into I a was, portal. Um, by the way, I, I did post this on Twitter and Instagram, and it did win on Twitter and Instagram uh, barely as to whether or not oh. an animal shelter could be a portal. But it was like 50-50. It was not it was not overwhelming by any sense of the word. Right. And the one I submitted did not go through. So, so that was but, 49. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but I was thinking, like, when I submitted it, animal shelter, like, why wouldn't that be a portal because it's community driven i mean you're it's it's very very positive in terms of everything you're doing in an animal shelter in terms of adopting animals and things like that you're including a brand new member of your family whenever you adopt so um i thought like yeah that would be a great portal within a community to have but uh and then agent dr pc said yes it could help uh, animals get adopted if if uh, more agents were aware of where those shelters were in the city, and then um, go there to hack and you stop in, maybe maybe realize like yeah, I need a fuzzy little kitty or puppy friend in my life. Probably a but, puppy I mean, friend. I wouldn't advocate for somebody to like take it on that lightly. It is a lifetime responsibility to take on a pet so i don't want to like dismiss the fact that it's a major decision but yeah it could know. actually decrease your ingress time just keep that in mind maybe unless you get a, a cat that you get like a car window what? roost for and have them ride around with you oh i don't know about that yep yep what's next sir can be done so agent john rocks rocks Rocks. 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 John Rocks. I'm doing my W A A. Anyway. So John Rocks says, You better not watch the anime without us, you goons. We are gonna watch it together. I've already watched it without you. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, but we are gonna it. watch it together. We'll watch it again. And again. Cause you just miss stuff. Yeah. And and I hope. Uh, so I had to stop watching it with my family because my wife kept giggling. Uh -huh. She's not a she's never watched any anime to begin with, so mm -hmm. I can see how anime for someone who hasn't watched anime before could spark some giggling, especially mm -hmm. then when it's ingress on top of that and mm -hmm. they hear me talk about it enough. Uh but it's I think it's not maybe not a good primer, but there's some good information, like, if you're starting to play Ingress, like, they talk you through playing Ingress, kind of. What I would say bit. within the first, like, um, if, for those who haven't watched it yet, uh, within the first couple of episodes, they kind of go through a primer of, like, what Ingress is, what it means, like, what Enlightened in Resistance is, and, like, portals and things are. But what I will also, which kind of was, like, <sighs> while I was watching it, but... For those people who are just wanting to watch a show like an anime show like they have no idea what's going on in this whole brand new universe uh for this anime so you have to introduce it somehow and then what i'll give them credit for is it's not like they're repeating it over and over and over again every other episode like once they introduce a concept you're expected to know it and they they move on with a story yeah. so i'll like that's fine i can forgive like not even forgive, that's a bad word, but I can kind of understand an introduction of elements that are crucial to the story plot, and then we we move on and, and go forward with it. And then yeah. I think, like, like any orientation type of story, like, it really picks up after they explain stuff. Yeah. Well, and, yeah. like, we didn't really even get into it. Maybe we'll get into it when we actually watch it together but like i don't watch i haven't really seen many animes either but i really uh i thoroughly enjoyed this and i thought they did a a, a really good job especially when you think about like other game shows like not game shows but shows about games i love wheel of fortune right 
No. You like spinning that wheel? Oh, I don't. No, you're not a wheel <laughs> watcher? No. Come on. Uh, anyway. So. So. Next. Agent David Jeffers says Dave this is Jeffers. Also stream to D Live. I don't know what that is. Uh, I, yeah, I'm worried. I almost took that comment out because I'm weird. I'm scared D Live is like, I don't like, know, like Pornhub streaming no, service. I, bet. Ah, I know what D Live means. Anyway, Agent Arthur Malavasic, Malavasic says to me, that is another form of cheating. I agree. Trying to IRL intimidate someone for in-game gain is absolutely cheating. What is that about? What is that in reference it, to? I think some episode where we were talking about someone um, intimidating cheating? someone oh, that, well, yes, in real life. People. I right? think, yes, any form of actual yeah. in real life intimidation, I agree with him. That's not that's not cool. Not cool. It's a game, it's a game folks. Keep it as a game. And then Agent Louis Lopez or Lou Spill Seven, Louis Spill Please Seven, Splipple, Lou Splipple, all of them says, "Hey, Agent Academy, I have a suggestion. How about getting your podcast on Spotify too? There's a bigger audience there." Winky face. They don't have a. Sp- <laughs> they do. They they have Spotify podcasts now. I, I'm totally kidding. I don't oh, know. I don't know how to get us on there though. Do you know how to get us on there? I can look it up. Do you want me I to think. Look it up? Yeah, sure. I think you gotta oh, join yeah. those lips and jerks. I love lips and. Hmm. Okay, here's the problem. <laughs> Brent doesn't like certain hosts, mm. and I like mm. the exact opposite yeah. of those hosts. Uh, and um, he had this whole podcast going before I came here, so you know what? We're just we're all riding his ship. Sorry, <laughs> won't do the Lipson. It's a tea. You drink it with a little lemon. It's good. A little Lipson's iced tea. But Lipson's podcasting service. Ladies screw and yourselves. If you are looking for a podcast hosting service, I highly recommend Lipson. They're they amazing they're and wonderful. Liars. And they'll get you on Spotify. They're like liars, that. though. They're not. They're not. You're just an angry old man. <laughs> I am an angry old man. Get off my lawn. Get off my lawn and go to the Agent Academy podcast website and put in this code for your badge for this week. It is AA, May 4th, AA. Did I spell that right? Sure. I did it F-O-U-R-T-H instead of... You did. F-O-R-T-H. Just to confuse things. It's AA, May, as in the month, Uh the number four, then the two letters T and H, and then AA at the end there. Just to bookend it with AAs everywhere. Kind of like Star Wars-iness, right? Yeah. How'd you get that? What? I don't know. Talk about. I think we may get pulled off the air just for saying Star Wars on here. You know what? I just don't want you to forget that the shows are now live streamed on Mondays and released by Wednesday. That's good. That's good. You know what else? What? I really wish people would start leaving reviews on iTunes or the Google Play nice. Store. Anywhere. Because nice. we would love that. That'd be great. And this has been episode 56. 56 and a half. What? Oh, we're counting this as a half? That's pretty long. I, oh. I, I f- worry that our shower listeners are freezing to death. <laughs> They're going to have to get a, a waterless tank? Or what do they do? Those <laughs> the new modern things. Tank. Yeah. <sighs> well, that's okay. Scrub a dub dub. The show's almost over. <laughs> almost. Did you get behind your ears? Okay. So, we'll see you next week. Same same day. Sound good for you? Same. Matt channel. Ingress channel. Something. Some, some, yeah. some. All that jazz. Some. And if you're on the website and it looks weird, I'm going to be updating it soon. So. Good. It may go through phases because I don't have a lot of time to sit there and do the whole thing in one go. So, I might just take some time with it. I like that because I 
I understand you're busy, but I really hate the layout, but I don't want to do it, so I'm yeah. not going to say anything. I'll take your oh, suggestions. Wait. I kind of said something, though. Damn it. Oh, sorry. She's always so angry. What? I'm not angry. So, see y'all next week? Sure. Bye.